Hello everyone. I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect stir fry. Literally all you need is this incredibly basic recipe. You will never be unhappy about a stir fry again after this. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do in any good meal is we're gonna have our protein source. So I have been prepping the tofu. Tofu will be the protein source for this stir fry. I have an entire video on how to make the most perfect, crunchy, delicious tofu ever. I've been eating tofu at least once a week, so I'm feeling a little bit more well seasoned with it. Definitely be sure to check out that video, but let's go on and make our tofu. For any good stir fry, you're gonna want a good stir fry sauce. So I have everything work that's going in today. Like I said, I had an entire video on this, so definitely be sure to check out how to make the most incredible stir fry sauce. But we're gonna kind of put these all in together so that our stir fry will taste delicious. Hello beautiful people. So we have our protein going for the stir fry and now what every good stir fry needs is some good veggies and a carb source. I either do noodles or rice. Today we're gonna be doing noodles. I just kind of like, I found these little baggies. They're from, I don't know, I, find, I found them at Jewel. I found them at a local grocery store. I have not found them at Aldi. That's the only place I have not found them, unfortunately. But we're gonna do some of those. And then I always do, I always do Costco stir fry veggies. So let's get those. And they're frozen, they're convenient. From a financial standpoint, it's great because they're frozen so they last for like months on end compared to veg fresh vegetables that last like a week or so. So we're gonna get that going as our tofu is cooking. We're gonna start to cook down our vegetables and it'll be great. Literally anyone who has followed any of my cooking videos knows that this is my ride or die. Like, when I'm on my deathbed, this is, this will be there for me. Costco, not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor me, let me know. Cause I will still eat this no matter what. But it's their, their stir fry veggie mix. You got some good green, green, green beans, green beans, mushroom, broccoli, some carrots, peppers, mushrooms, red bell peppers, water chestnuts. Oh, the water chestnuts are so good. Yeah, you can't, you can't go wrong. And I use this in literally every single stir fry recipe I make. I mean, probably recipe. I'm pro Oh my gosh, I'm unwell. I'm probably making stir fries like at least once a week. I mean, I mean at most once a week. I say because if I had it my, my way, I'd eat this every single day, but you know, it's, I'm not, I don't live by myself and I'm just cooking myself myself. So I have to think about other people, Emily. Try and be more considerate. My mother would be proud. What was I even talking about? I'm just really excited about this. Let's cook this down and you can never have too many vegetables. Actually you can because then you could have raging diarrhea. But I trust you to make your best judgment when it comes to this. So let's, let's get started and stop talking about bowel movements. So I have absolutely no chill when it comes to adding vegetables to meals. I just like adding so much. So. That's why we're, we have a deep pan. We're gonna throw some olive oil in. Yay. So turn on your little heat. I'm doing about like medium high heat. Mix that olive oil all around. We don't want anything getting stuck to the bottom of this pan. All right, and this is when you can add your veg. Like I said, I'm a little nutty when it comes to this, but I just like vegetables. And as an IBS girly, 
I need plenty of fiber. It literally controls how my mood will be for the rest of the day. We're gonna throw these in. And like, you could, you don't have to use these types of vegetables. You don't have to do frozen vegetables. If you wanna do fresh, do fresh. If you wanna do a different mix of vegetables, do a different mix of vegetables. That is the amazing thing about stir fries is you can do whatever your little heart desires and it'll be okay. I'm turning this heat up a little bit just because I didn't really time this out super well, whereas my tofu's cooking super fast, so these are, this is not gonna be cooked down enough in time. Once it kind of, kind of gets in the process, you can get everything cooked probably within that 20 minutes. The longest part is gonna be one, prepping your protein ahead of time, depending on what protein you're doing. I did tofu. I pressed it overnight, but it wasn't continuous, and then I seasoned it and cooked it, so maybe like 25 minutes there. But the actual like veggie, carb, one you're gonna see in everything assembly, assembled together, it's gonna take like 25 minutes. So it's such an easy dinner. You really don't have to do that much prep. Like I literally just took frozen veggies and threw it in a pan. It's, you don't have to be making five star meals at home. And this is gonna still taste incredible, even though it came out of a, a bag that was frozen. See, now I'm looking at this and I'm like, I want more veggies. And I'm like, Emily, there's other stuff going into this. Calm down. A little bit more wouldn't hurt anyway. Un poquito más. Solamente un poquito más. All right, I'm chilling out. I'm, I'm chilling out. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. All right, we're just gonna let this bad boy simmer. So we're gonna check on our protein and see how that's going, and then yeah. We have our sauce ready to go. I'm so excited for this. Like, I, I don't know if I said this, um, but I have an entire video on how to make stir fry sauces, so definitely be sure to check that out. I'll make sure to link it in the bio. All right, I need to chill out, because this is gonna take some time. So we're gonna, we're gonna step away from a second, for a second. We're gonna step away for a second, and we'll catch you next time. Next time? I'll catch you in two seconds. She's beautiful. So our veggies are all cooked down now, and all we have to do is add in everything else. We're gonna turn down this heat a little bit because we don't need it too warm at this point. And all we have to do is add our protein. I like. To well, I like to do the sauce last just because I want to make sure everything's evenly distributed. So we're gonna do. Oh my god, we lost a tofu! Everyone, relax. Okay. Crisis averted. I'm gonna do some of these udon stir fry noodles. It's really nice because they come in packs of two, so you can just make more stir fry later. I haven't quite figured out a way to gently pull these apart without them falling and breaking, but it still tastes good either way. Making sure that's not. So we're gonna turn up our heat a little bit. This is just kind of a brick. So we're going to mix, start mixing everything in to try to use this heat to separate the noodles. Or you can just be impatient like me and just break the noodles. And like I said, you don't have to do noodles if you don't want to. You could do like rice. You don't have to put a carb in, even though I recommend it because it tastes better and it's more fun and carbs are great. All right, so our noodles are pretty cooked. So let's move, or cooked, separated. 
We're gonna stir in our sauce at this point, and then we can serve. I like to make sure everything's coated and then we're just gonna keep this on low heat and let it simmer for a couple minutes. Between the heat and the cornstarch and the sauce, it'll help thicken everything and I just wanna make sure everything's evenly coated. So we're gonna clean up and leave this alone and then, we'll, then we can eat. Also, I had to change the wood spoon because me and the tongs were not getting along. I was just throwing everything all around. She's basically done, so we are going to eat now, but take a look, see, first. It's, it looks so good. Mm. So good. Great. It's time to eat. Let's get after it, folks. <laughs> oh, you're eating, I'm sorry. No, 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 you can eat with me. No, 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 you're supposed to eat too. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm not what the show is here for. You're a taste tester. You, someone else has to eat it besides me. Can you eat my food? So they know I'm not lying about yeah, it tasting good? Yeah, I'm waiting in line. Okay. Do you want this or do you want your own? I'll take my own. Okay. So you can do your little footage of you eating. It was simmering, folks. People, we decided that we're not beefing anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Even though I didn't know we were beefing, it was an Emily decision. Everything's my decision. Yeah, I have no freedom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stop. All right, folks. Let's wait, 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 wait. I'm eating it now. No, 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 no. Hello. You know you. It's hot. Oh. Well, yeah, it was simmering. <laughs> All right, we're gonna turn this off the heat. Let's get some. This does look really hot, I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna do a little tofu and a little, little pepper. Mm -mm -mm. What do you think of the stir fry sauce? It's good, it's hot. I tried something different, well kind of different. I wanna make sure it was okay. It tasted good. Very good, okay. I know I added a couple I'm more. Away from the hmm? I don't even remember what that was because I've done so many stir fry. <laughs> Actually, I do have it saved somewhere it on like one of my reels or TikToks. And I specifically made a note to myself that this is the best one that Bobby likes. So I'll just need to go back and find that. I'll find it and tag it somewhere because Bobby claims that's the best one. So. This is how you make a stir fry. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's incredibly simple and you can really just kind of throw together whatever you have in your home. I don't really have anything else to say. Thank you for watching. If you want more content like this, please like the video, it helps me a lot. Leave a comment below if you do try to make this or if you have like your own stir fry secrets. Always want to learn how to cook better and whatnot. I am a level one chef, so lots to learn and grow otherwise oh make sure you subscribe or else <laughs> and we will catch you next week have a great day and enjoy plenty of fiber because you can never have enough all right bye